Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time. If you are new, we are back with another reaction to Halo. This is episode four of season two. I'm very excited for this one. This one is titled Reach, which means uh, presumably the fall of Reach is at, at minimum gonna start this episode, right? Uh, last episode was really good. It was called Visegrad. And funnily enough, the last episode was the first and only episode uh, that I have ever posted on this channel that hasn't gotten claimed or blocked by Paramount. So that was pretty sick, but that could change any day, so who knows. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun, and the, the episode actually did pretty well on, on the channel, so that's pretty exciting. But this episode coming up, I am particularly excited about. It, it's looking like it's gonna be an absolute banger, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm just super stoked. So, before we jump into this, if you end up enjoying this reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me, helps my channel grow. If you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you wanna see the full uncut reaction to this episode, consider supporting me either on Patreon or by joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. Uh, those are both linked in the description down below. But other than that, I think that's all I gotta say before this one. So let's jump into season two, episode four of Halo. What is he doing? Had a little late night supper here. Oh, he's coming up here to feed birds. Let's go. Hello, lady. Keith. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Lenny and Keith. That's enough for him. Damn, those are big explosions. This way. I need to get home. Oof. Yo, Perez ran right through there. Is she alive? Oh, okay. She's Gucci. I need to get to my family. Corporal! They're gone. Let me go! I need to see my family! Hopefully they weren't home. <laughs> Dang. That whole city block is essentially gone. You're aware there's a war. And the outer colonies. Well, that's the thing about war. It never stays where you put it. <laughs> True. I would do if I were ever in the same room with you again. And now you're at a loss for words? You're smaller than I remember. Yeah, that's true. Like, none of them have been trained on how to quickly move on from all their family and friends dying. Come here, you need to get out of here. Please come. Now. Please, you know. She's trying to warn people, but... Oh, they're in this room. Okay. Okay, Chief, pop off. Says I don't need no damn suit. <laughs> the suit does help though. Just a little bit. Rip his little mouth things off. Get that man a gun. <laughs> I know this place, trust me. That's not gonna happen. See yourself? He's like, 
damn it. <laughs> yep. You don't have to trust her, but you just have to like acknowledge that she does know the way out. All that plasma flying. Death all around you and you never Never oh, break a sweat. Kid. There's this woman. She flipped a coin. She dared me to call it and I did. Eleven times in a row. It's always been like that. Every time I go into battle, I know I can lose somebody. I know it's not gonna be me. Must be nice. Not really. Damn. That is crazy to think about. Every time he goes in, he knows he's coming out. <gasps> Shit. Oh, please be careful with that. Uh, give him that gun. <laughs> you need to get out of here. This is my shop. Same place for 40 years, give or take. Oh, top shelf, please. What is happening? All of this doesn't matter. That's an underwood. It matters to her. It's seen six wars. Fought communism, fascism, all the isms in between. People nowadays talk like nothing matters. Who are we? If, if nothing matters, then... And we don't matter. No. Shay, she's speaking facts. If there's nothing that we have that's worth saving, then, you know? Like, these things have history. They have a story to them. They're important. You were the most driven. The others had to be recruited. Kidnapped. But you wanted it right from the very first time I saw you. You wanted to be a Spartan. You were a born warrior. Even after your accident, you oh, what? your arm. It was very difficult to let you go. Let me go. I escaped you. I survived <laughs> you. You think you escaped? I suppose that's as good a story as any. Ooh, what happened here? Jeez, people getting smoked. I am now. We're trying to get a free car. <laughs> Keep making noise, I'll find your ass. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Just blind dude shooting a grenade launcher. <laughs> Go! Is this a one shot? If so, this is a pretty good one shot. What a goat. What a champion, Lewis. Oof. Damn. I love the fact that, like, the Spartans, like, he can one-hand that gun with no recoil. <laughs> Oh no. Was that the is that the doctor? <clears throat> that is a long jump. You tell me the rest of those people jumped that too? Fritz, where's the Nilla? He's still in that building. Ray. 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 Okay. 
Okay, so Lewis is gonna take out that Wraith. This is still a one-shot, I'm pretty sure. I mean, obviously, like, stitched together one-shots, but... It's still good. Cortana? Dr. Halsey? Yes. Run. Oh. You can't have her. Get back. Oh, blast. Ah! And now shoot him. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. That was a high powered grenade. Yeah, this is something you never see in the Halo games, is, like, the actual impact on soldiers and individuals. Like, there's there's no medical <laughs> anything that happens in those games. The people just die. We're just going to get suited up. The arm was gone, Chief. They took it? It's not there. Son of a bitch. Where's Ackerson? I don't know. Man bugged out. Ackerson did say Chief's just a guy in a suit. You know, part of me was hoping that you were dead so I wouldn't have to listen to this I told you so. I don't know such luck, sir. <laughs> Sorry, John. He's like, shit went down, just like I said it would. We're creating a choke point. We're outnumbered, but if we can concentrate our forces... I guess, sir. Thermopylae. 300, baby. Spartans, what is your profession? What do you mean you let me go? Do you have any idea what just happened in there? Our enemy is in possession of Cortana. What did you mean? I mean, she could have brought you back. Why do you think there was no one guarding the ships the night you ran away? She let you go. Damn, Reach is getting smoked. What are your orders, sir? Hold my hat. He's got a speech to make. <laughs> you know what I see? I see some hard-ass Marines. I do not see defeat in this room, and I do not see surrender. John's like, damn. Here we go. These types of speeches always get me a little emotional. The enemy is at our gates. Their numbers are overwhelming. We will not be able to hold them back forever. Any Marine who makes this stand with us will not survive the day. Oh, <laughs> uh. will not make that stand alone. John, it is my honor to introduce to you John 117. You know him as Master Chief. They're like, oh my God. Today he needs no honor. That eight foot tall man. <laughs> For every moment that we hold the enemy at bay, more innocent people can escape on the transports. And when they do, they will go forth and tell the story that you write today. Ooh. You show those scaly bastards they fucked with the wrong planet! <laughs> Ooh. Those Marines are gonna fight so much harder now. Knowing they're fighting with Master Chief. What 
What a shot. Oh, hey. Hello, Jacob. Catherine. And... Soren. Soren? <laughs> yeah, Soren, they used to fuck, if you didn't know. You're a pirate. Yeah, but he's going with her. Small business owner. Yeah, entrepreneur. <laughs> Scorpion 3 X-ray, this is Silver 1. Give me one round of white foss on that bridgehead, over. They're right there. Light them up! <laughs> there are so many of them. They have Cortana. I saw them take her. The Sangheili and McKee. Yeah, that's a... McKee's dead. I feel like that's priority number one, is get Cortana back. The Jackals? Oh. It is. You, John. Jesus Christ, they're just getting annihilated. Can you fly this thing? Not without you on it, sir. I'll be back. Gotta disconnect the fuel lines if we want to get out of here. Dinosaur ass looking mother effer. Keys doesn't die here. Punch it. I can't do that, sir. She ain't punching that until you're dead, dude. Got a light? No. I wasn't expecting keys to go out like that. <laughs> she is a real person with real emotions. <sighs> God dang, dude. This action is so good, though. Man, even they're still coordinated, the two of them. Even though they spent so far apart. They're so long apart. That's a beefy-ass one. John, he has Cortana. Is this the one that eventually becomes the Arbiter? Oh, I think Riz is probably gonna die here. Oh, let's fucking go, boys. All day, son. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, this is awesome. Damn, just cuts that guy's head off. He's like, this one's mine. Ah! 
Oh, okay, so Vanek is... He's dying right now. How are we getting off this planet? Oh. I like Vanek. He watches nature documentaries. Oh, the last thing he sees is a board. Wow. Oh my god. Yo, <laughs> that episode was straight heat, bruh. This show is so good now. Like, season one, I liked season one. I enjoyed season one, but season two, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh give me more of that, baby. This is sick as hell. <laughs> like, the moment when Master Chief picks up that energy sword, I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> and then, you know, it was short-lived, but still, that was awesome. Uh, Keys' speech had me, like, start to, like, almost tear up. I was getting hyped. I was like, let's go, ready to run through a brick wall for you, Keys. Uh, like, <laughs> and then the, almost the whole episode being, like, it, like, this episode was, like, 75%, like, combat scenes, and it was just, it was sick as hell. Like, a decent, uh, there's a, a decent chunk of this episode that was, like, uh, I mean, it was stitched together, but it was a, a, a really long, like, one shot, which was kind of insane. Like, this just popped off for, like, oh my god, it was so cool. And, like, so, like, from the very beginning of the episode, <laughs> we're just into it. Like, city blocks are exploding. You know, we don't have time to stop and, like, mourn people. Like, Perez's family is uh, assumedly dead. Like, her whole family's gone, uh, as far as we know. Like, we didn't technically see them die, but, like, we're pretty sure they're gone. And... Chief is just like, yo, we gotta go. Like, we don't have time for you to sit in this hallway and cry. Like, if, if that's what you're gonna be doing, I'm, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> like, I have to get to Fleetcom. And weirdly, like, it's so strange. She's like, well, it's not strange, but she's like, she lets him know. She's like, there's no training for this. Like, there is at no point in my military career. Uh, granted, she's just a comms officer, but still. Like, she's like, we do not get trained on how to just like compartmentalize our entire family dying. <laughs> like, like maybe out in battle, we, uh, we have to like move past like our fellow soldiers dying, but like, this is my family. This is like, I'm, I'm a civilian right now. <laughs> like this is not, you know, normal. And he's like, we gotta go, <laughs> like, let's get it. Uh, and she's, she's going with him. She's trying to like warn people, like get out, like, and he's like, hey, priorities, like, let's, let's pick it up. <laughs> and then freaking elites come immediately and we get to see how a Spartan uh, handles an elite without his armor. That, that's one thing that I actually, like, really appreciate about Chief not being in his armor and, like, doesn't, and, like, not having the helmet on, is it really shows, like, just how capable these Spartans are, even outside of their armor. Like, yeah, you put him in his armor, and he'll take out 50 elites, you know, before breaking a sweat. Like, he's gonna do that no problem. But you you put this man outside of his armor, and you watch all these regular soldiers get massacred, and, you know, he barely kills one of them. <laughs> but he's still holds his own like he's also he was unarmed if he had a, an actual weapon i mean he had like a little knife but you give him an actual gun he's gonna do a lot better but you give this you know essentially unarmed spartan a 1v1 versus an elite and he kills it like that's insane like it shows how capable uh uh master chief is just like even outside of his suit so i really like that aspect of, of keeping the spartans out of their suit 
Um, cause Ackerman stole them, that rat bastard. Like of, like of course he just takes the suits. <laughs> you know, he told John to his face, the Master Chief is just a guy in a suit. And Master Chief proved in this episode that the Master Chief is the Master Chief, regardless of whether or not he's in his suit, uh, or, or not, you know, he, he's still the Master Chief. Uh, and, and there's nothing you can do to stop him, you know? He's gonna, he's gonna lead your army regardless. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, him and Riz and Perez, uh, and, uh, Lewis, like, the one shot with them, like, getting together and, like, making their way through the city, that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, seeing them take out a whole bunch of elites, I don't know how Perez and stuff like jumped out of that building, <laughs> right? Like we, we see Riz jump out of that building and that's like a 30 foot drop. Like, and she, she rolls and she's fine. But like, how is Perez alive? <laughs> it, whatever. Um, and then Lewis, Lewis is our first casualty of like named characters that we know. Uh, so far in this episode, he takes out a wraith, a wraith with a, you know, he, he suicide bombs a, a wraith and it's just like, oh my God, like just tough moments. Well, first earlier, <laughs> he, he was making me laugh earlier. Um, cause he's just this blind dude with a grenade launcher, you know, he is a, a, a former Spartan candidate, but he's still just like a blind guy with a grenade launcher. Uh, and he's saying things like, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I hear you, I'm gonna find you. And then he, you know, he uh, gets three elites with a grenade launcher, just like a no scope. <laughs> just incredible. Um, but then, yeah, he, he loses his husband. So he's like, you know what? I lived a good life. Time to take out this wraith. Like, he's doing what he can. Um, that was, uh, it wasn't sad, but I was like, damn, like, I like him. So it was a bummer. And then, yeah, they're just, they're making their way through all these people. They get back to Fleet Com, and you're actually seeing, like, the devastation of war. Like, you're seeing uh, the the injuries. You're seeing the, the people that are just distraught, which is not something you typically see in the Halo games, right? Like, Halo games, you're, you're controlling Master Chief, and, you know... Marines are dying all around you, but they just die <laughs> in the games. Like, they die, and you move on, and you move to the next area, to the next checkpoint. Like, you don't you don't wait around to, like, watch a Marine cry in agony as his leg is gone. <laughs> like, you don't... It's just not something you ever really cover in the games. So, I like that they're, like, straight up being like, Hey, if we're gonna show the fall of Reach, like, we're gonna show the absolute devastation that is being wrought upon these people. Um, and I really, I really like that. And then they hit us with, uh, with Keyes' speech. He, he, he gives us a, a frickin' like Pacific Rim, you know, Independence Day style speech where he's, he's letting everyone know, he's like, hey, you know, if you stand here today, you are going to die. Like, there, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Everybody here in this room will die. But he's letting them know, like, you're not just going to die for no reason. Like, you're dying for a purpose. Every second that we can spare for these people to get off planet is a second longer that humanity can live. And your children and your grandchildren uh, can can live lives. Like, you're not just dying to, to take away a few extra, uh, uh, covenant forces, right? You're not just like, you know, whittling down a number. You are protecting real people who are getting away. And then he's like, also, you're not just fighting on your own. This is not a hopeless battle, right? Like they probably thought like there's 40 of us here. Like, <laughs> like, what are we going to do? He's like, it is not hopeless. Let me introduce you to a man named John 117, who you might know as the master chief. <laughs> And everyone's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, he's helping us? Like, we might actually make it out of this. Like, they're they're spurned on. They're ready to fight. And then he hits him. He hits him with the line, they fucked with the wrong plan. <laughs> like, let's go. Oh, so sick. So sick. And then 
yeah, he, oh man, Keys, Keys is so good. I hope he's not actually dead, but I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, he, he's the next one to go in our, in our casualty list today. He has to disconnect the fuel lines and a, a great nod to the original Keys is he takes out the pipe and he's, uh, he goes to smoke as you just, you see the, f the fuel coming out around him. Like he's going to make an explosion. Uh, and it's a big one. It was rough. It was rough. Um, and then, oh my God, like. I haven't even talked about like Soren and Halsey. Like them interacting was very interesting as well because he he goes into this interaction like knowing I hate this woman. <laughs> like if I ever get the chance to be in the same room as her, I'm probably gonna kill her. Like I'm definitely gonna show her what's what in terms of like how I'm gonna talk to her. And he gets in the same room and all he can think to say is you're smaller than I remember. Like he, he has all these memories of her being this big, bad, like daunting woman, this intimidating woman who like is this big evil person that ruined his life. And then he gets in the room with her and he's like, oh shit, like you're just a lady. <laughs> like you're, you're straight up just a woman and there's nothing like all that he wanted to say is just out the window. Cause like at the same time he's, he's thinking like, that's kind of my mom. <laughs> like, right. He's like, like pseudo that's my mom. But also like, you're not this, the, like you're the power that you have held over me in the past and, and throughout my whole life in my head, like all of that's gone. And he's able to, kind of in a sense just like move forward you know all the pain and the trauma that he's held in his head is like he's weirdly able to just be like oh none of that shit matters now <laughs> right which i like and like it's also interesting the whole time it's hard to tell if she actually cares right because she's like tell me about your son like it's it's probably she's maybe slightly interested from a scientific perspective and from like a decent person perspective. But she's also like trying to like get on his good side so that he doesn't kill her. <laughs> and uh, like, you know, she's doing her best. And then the Covenant take Cortana, which is not good. I, I, as far as I'm aware, they never took Cortana in the game or at least this point in the story, they never did. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen with that. But, uh, yeah, her and Soren, they make their way all the way through. And she lets him know. She's like, she's like, it sucked to let you go. And he's like, what do you mean, let me go? Like, I escaped you. Like, I escaped this awful situation. And she's like, no, dude. Like, you were hurt. Like, the augmentation failed. And I had to make the choice to, like, let you leave. <laughs> and he's like, you're... What are you talking about? And she's like, why do you think that no one was guarding the ships? Like, how do you think you got away? <laughs> like, if this was any other day, like, you don't make it out. Like, the only reason you made it out is because she let you leave. Um, which is, it's, it's very interesting what that's going to do to him. I wonder if that'll make him almost want to be a Spartan again, <laughs> right? Because he, I mean, he, she talks about how you were the only one that wanted it. Everyone else had to be recruited, had to be kind of like coaxed into it. You were the only one that wanted to be a Spartan and then ran away from it. And now when you're, you know, brought to the truth, like you're still here defending people. You're, you're fighting with the other Spartans. Like him and John are like coordinated together like they it's it's like they never left like he's spinning around him like that he's he's in it he's back in it <laughs> like like uh it, it, it's 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 like drinking water for him right um i wonder if he's gonna be like damn like i kind of i kind of want to help people like he's been being being a pirate this whole time is he gonna you know get the taste for like you know, saving people and, and doing good again, or is he just gonna like gonna go find his son? I don't know, but it was, it was cool to see him doing stuff. And then 
Yeah, freaking uh, Vanek. Vanek, Vanek, Vanek. Good old nature documentary, bird loving Vanek. Just what a what a gem, right? They're they're in this firefight in the hallway, just taking people out, doing work, and then McKee and the Arbiter, who, who I the the elite that I assume is the Arbiter, uh, they come in and Chief is like, oh, that, I'm gonna kill you, <laughs> like let's go, and he's one v oneing the Arbiter. And then takes takes an energy sword. He's like, let's go. Like, we're going to sword fight right now. <laughs> and he gets shot with a plasma bolt immediately. And the Arbiter just turns and just cuts that guy's head off. He's like, nah, dude. Like, you stole this 1v1 from me. Like, you're dead. <laughs> Which was, I thought was incredible. I thought that was so funny. And then the rough moment is Vanek tries to take him out with a needler. And just gets a one single needle to the chest and dies. And uh, he, the last thing he sees is a, is a bird flying above him. And it's just, oh, it's so sad because he was feeding the birds earlier. And that's the last thing he sees, this animal lover. And it's just rough. It's just rough. And then the episode ends. The episode ends and it's just tragic, right? Just tragedy all around. This episode was so freaking good, though. Like, oh, my God. This, I, I can't even, like, begin to describe how excited I am. <laughs> like, this show is legit getting real good. And um, I'm, I'm here for it. Like, I'm pretty stoked. Next episode is going to feature uh, Quan Ha <laughs> more prominently, which I'm not super stoked about. You know, her, her story isn't terribly interesting. <laughs> you know, they got to figure out something to do with her that is not just like you know survive like i get the fact that like hey she's an existing character from season one we and we set some important things up for her but at the same time like do we really need her in the story i don't know like maybe we can just kill her <laughs> and move on uh i'm sure the actual actress is a wonderful person but it's just i don't know i don't know uh, and then the, everyone else presumably has to find a way off this planet, right? Like, unless they, you know, I don't know. Like, Chief and Halsey and Soren and all these people, they have to find a way to, like, get off this planet, right? They can't be here when, when Reach is glassed. Um, and if, if I recall correctly, at the end of Halo Reach, the game... I think they get out on the ship forward to dawn, right? That was was that the the name of that ship? I know forward to dawn is a ship. <laughs> I just don't remember if it's the specific one they escape on uh, at the end of Halo Reach. Because like your final mission in Halo Reach, like you're doing, you're a, you're a Spartan and you're protecting uh, something, and you see you you literally see the ship take off and then it, the, you're hit with the final mission of just survive, uh, and you obviously don't survive, but I, I'm pretty sure it was forward unto dawn. I could be, I could be wrong, but, you know, they gotta find a way off somehow. <laughs> Chief has to, has to get off this planet so he can go fight the Covenant and then eventually fight the Flood, like that, like, shit's gonna go down and we need to be not here <laughs> for that to happen. Um... You know, they got to find the halo probably at the end of the season. Like, things are going to be happening. Things are going to be, you know, accelerating quickly. Um, and so I'm curious to see exactly how that happens. I think we're officially, like, in the back half of this season now, uh, which is pretty exciting. I think, what, there's eight episodes, nine episodes in this season, maybe ten, possibly. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. This Again, this was freaking excellent love this quite a bit um and I'm, I'm pretty excited to see uh where it goes from here i think that's all i have to say though definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below i'd love to hear everything you guys got to say if you enjoyed my reaction please leave a like on the video it means a lot to me if you're new here hit subscribe ring the bell so you're notified when i upload and then if you would like to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon. That is linked in the description down below. Or consider joining YouTube memberships. 
you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.